If you're on the, on the YouTube, hello. My name is Blue Digit, a former SCP, and um, today we're going to be playing SCP: The Endurance. Um, basically, this is a FNAF game. I believe that's been in the works for nine years. I could be wrong. Maybe if nine or seven uh, years in the making, and um, the person was working on it for a long time during basically the craze of SCP fan games, and uh, he stopped midway through. And people were wondering what was going on with this for the longest time, especially since it was on the top of the most anticipated horror games on uh, Game Jolt. Um, and at the time, that was a big deal. Well, time went by, itch.io kind of grew, but this game still was lingering for a lot of um, FNAF fans. And um, Game Jolt still is the number one place to find like FNAF fan games. But um, this thing then blew up, and it's like, hey, we came out of nowhere, we finished. And I saw on YouTube the other day, I'm like, oh my god, I gotta play this, I gotta play this, and it looks good. I think it looks fucking phenomenal, and I think uh, you guys will enjoy it too. So, um, let's enjoy this, let's, let's, let's have some good times, let's, let's get spooked out. And again, as a former SCP, I think I think we'll enjoy this, I think we'll have a good time. The SCP the, the Endurance comes with a built-in game jolt in integration, allows to earn trophies and complete the leaderboard with other players. Would you like to log in? Uh, and shovel, let me play, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, it's an intro! Man, it's like an anime, but cooler. Are you tired of lackluster food and cell conditions? Yes. Or maybe you ended up in a solitary room for inappropriate behavior during your daily routines. You know what you did. Were we not Class D personnel? We got you covered. Behold, the totally not Haram, dude. Our brand not new Haram. program. We want you to put your skills into practice in a variety of tasks currently unattended in our facility. Mm -hmm. As you know, SCP is an organization pieced together to make the world a better and safer place for both humanity and our specimen. Oh we yeah. We like a giant mechanism to sustain its perfection for years ahead. Some maintenance practices are heavily required. Recently we found out about a few faulty parts holding our facility back. <laughs> thanks to our brilliant management, a swift and organized removal of said defects has been arranged. And that's where you come in. We need you to fill in these empty spots to keep our organization running. Don't let your lack of qualifications be a concern. Presented solution is just a temporary This is a really nice intro. So intro. Like it's it's pretty damn well long. done. It also means you have a limited time to gather an additional food service for the next year. And who knows? If you happen to be a bad boy, you could shed some light on your future and say farewell to your nasty solitary room once and for all. Sounds amazing, right? So join us right now. Log in with your credentials in the terminal, and you will be presented with a variety of jobs to choose from. We count on you, Class D. Let's make our world a happier place. <laughs> Together. Damn. That was such a good intro. Like, I wonder how long it took to edit. That's great. Did I get your SCP description right? Oh, I remember the SCP Blue. He's super down bad SCP that has many tentacles and other things. Yeah, I do have tentacles. <laughs> Why do you think Tasia dates me? Bruh. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, shit. What's this? Ronald. Hi there. From maintenance? I'm Ronald. Oh, God. Welcome to the Endurance Program. Hey, Ronald. You chose, or perhaps you've been forced to work, as a night guard here on level D. <laughs> yeah, I'll level D. How to operate this junky camera. <laughs> These <system>. nuts. <laughs> oh oh so shit! Keeping this crap in Ugh. decent working condition is basically. Give you FNAF four. Here, so I'd be the best person to draw you in. No worries. Now go easy on ya, and just don't tell the rest of the staff I said that. Right. They would love to see you running headless. I don't really share their attitude though. As you can see, there's a PC station for your disposition. It's rocking an early version of our software on it. Hence, there's that weird terminal thing on the monitor to your right. But it's not as complicated as you'd think. It looks pretty complicated, dude. Its main purpose is running some essential commands and logging in since user interface assets aren't ready for that yet. It also powers up a camera system, which is an essential tool for this job. So, you absolutely need to keep this thing running. For security measures, the passwords on every computer here in the facility are changed every day. Since you're a Class D and you have no permissions around here, I'll be leaving a sticky note with a passcode for you. I'm going to fucking die. So, Joey, try to see if you'll be able to run this thing. I'm going to fucking die. I'm going to remotely pull the plug in your area. 
Cutting off the power means you'll have to boot this machine up again from the ground up. Here's what you'll have to do. Okay. Flip the lever on the wall in front of you to get your room some juice. Then power up your PC. That boxy thing on the right of your table. You'll have to wait a few seconds for it to boot up. Oh, that. And then it's going to ask you for a password. Type in whatever's on that sticky note. If done correctly, we should be able to speak again. Okay. Ready? Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, when, when do I type it in? C, one, Q. I did it! I'm the coolest motherfucker ever. On God. Such a badass. Looks like this is gonna be easier than I thought. <laughs> Damn right! Well done. Now, hey, Buzz, what's I'll up? Familiarize you with the cameras. Potato Man! There are three floors for you to watch over. Each has a set of cameras. Some of these are in dark places and have been equipped with lights. Ooh. If there's a flashlight available, a text in the corner of your camera feed will appear. Pressing Z on your keyboard activates the light. Of course, you have one of these flashlights with you in the office as well. But you need to keep in mind, all of them consume power when used. Sounds like now would be a good time to talk about I hate talking management. about power management. Power management this is the nice most and easy one. annoying thing For in FNAF. purposes, you've been provided with unlimited power. Unfortunately, tomorrow there will be a limited energy pool for your night shift. Things that may drain your electricity are lights, PC, camera system, ventilation, and a door. Yes, that door on your right. Hence that usage meter is overloaded. But there are ways you can save some of that precious energy. Uh, there's a link to the ventilation system on CAM2D. By clicking on a server unit on the left, you are able to toggle ventilation on and off. But you have to keep in mind, we're deep underground. You still need to be able to breathe. You're shitting me. Another way is putting your PC to sleep when it's not in use. It consumes less power, wakes up crazy fast, and starts right where it left. You can do that by pressing X on your keyboard. Oh, I almost forgot. There's a replica of a mask of SCP-035 for you to use. Being a guard among these crazy abominations is no easy task, but it may help you fool some of them. Oh! And that's it. I love a mask! Let's go help the others now. You guys don't know I'm an actor. Remember what I I'm, said. I'm, 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 and be sure to make use of a library on the left monitor to look those SCPs you're about to encounter up. Okay. It may save your life. Was it on the counter? Hang in there, and good luck. Thanks. I like, okay, that was a good phone guy. That was a pretty damn good. Oh, night, night one's almost done. That's kind of pog. Now what? Is there anything we have to look for? Yeah, I wonder if we can still die in night one. That'd be that'd be kind of fucked. Can I open that? No. Well, now what? Yeah, we're still at 100% power usage, so I mean, I guess I guess we just wait, right? Ooh, that's spooky, dude. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna kill myself. The fuck is that? Y'all see that? The fuck was that? Okay. Okay. Are you nice? Sir? Said it. Mangled. Anyone else getting FNAF vibes? <laughs> yeah, it is. She coming. Oh lord. Oh lord. All right. Told you I'm down bad ultimate. <laughs> Yay, but politicians say they have power all over me all the time. I prefer belch for someone what ultimate you could always fill something or someone up oh god i don't even want to, i don't even want to acknowledge that a hydrate i got a little bit left in this cheers all right night two oh you can go back and forth that's cool i wonder how my nights are probably probably five but i, I feel like there's a little bit more than that let's hit it Presented solution isn't always the best. That's very interesting.
Why is everyone giving to the totem? I'm not even playing the game right now. Alright, so now, am I going to get a call? I really hope I do. Okay, I gotta boot this thing up. I like how you have to go into the computer. It, make, it makes it very uh, immersive, I guess you could say. I'm not sure that, what, whoa, what, what do we do with this? You guys know what to do? That, 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 that's clearly a statue. That's Peanut. That's Peanut. I said Peanuts. I didn't mean Peanut, fucking pervert. <laughs> I just really what the thought I did. Why does it keep opening? Whoa, what's that? What's it? Wh why? What? Why? No, what? What's this? Ventilation? Wait, I can turn off my ventilation. What's that? Fuck's that noise? Yo! Yo! What the fuck do I do? I saw the thing I was about to put my mask on, and, 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 oh no. Okay. Okay. This is crazy. This is a game within a game. Please don't kill me. I'm not ready. This isn't helping. I thought I thought I'd die by now. Like I I don't I don't want to go through this, but I'm not dying. So um, this is a little awkward now. Um, since I'm not dead yet, let's let's not be a little bitch and uh, try this out, right? Um, it seems like there's something to go up there. No idea what that even remotely means. Um, let me try and bounce on these. There we go. Okay. Yeah, there's stairs. That's, those are clearly stairs. Okay, that's not good. I do not like that. In the slightest. Okay. I don't know what the hell that even is right there. Um. Well, there's another body. Okay, that's great. Okay. <laughs> fuck me. Don't, don't fuck me. I'm so fucking bad at parkour. Oh, holy fuck! You guys saw that. You guys just saw that. Okay, where now? Where now? Where are we going? What's up? What's, you guys see that, right? What's that? There's something over there. Okay, we're gonna try something. Okay, there's something that I like calling balls to the walls. That's what we're doing right now. Okay, we're, we're putting the balls to the walls. Okay. Three. Two, if you and if you're a woman, you're doing the same exact thing. I don't give a shit. It expunged. That's kind of cool. Look around and listen. You looking for that familiar sound? I think that's really interesting because, like, I think I think I could have gotten out of that. I, I saw, I, everything else felt so spongy when you're jumping on it. Not that I guess. Um, that's cool though. That's very cool. I want to see if I can get back into that spot. I, mean, I don't want to die, obviously, but that's very interesting. I bet you I would survive against that thing if I put the mask on. This is really cool. I really appreciate this. Okay. Okay. Um, boot it up to PC. Oh, jeez. This is fun, though. I'm, I'm really enjoying this, honestly. What's going on? RQ3NJ. Yeah! Yeah, baby!
We're still 12 and... Oh, God. Okay, what do I even do? There's different floors? Oh, shit. You're kidding me. I don't know what to do here. Okay, let's just... Let's just try something. Yeah? Dude, no, no, I don't even know what that is. I'm not even gonna fuck with it. Okay. Okay, we seem... We seem okay right now. What? Yo, what, 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 what is that? You see that, right? There's a fucking bear. Ugh. I'm not dying again. Is it here? Yo, yo, I see that. Okay, the bear is still there. But it's, okay, he's gone now. He's gone. Okay. There, there's a fucking bear. There's a thing up there. There's. What do I do? What the fuck do I even do against all this shit? Okay, cool. God. I don't even recognize half this shit. And it's already two, and I'm right. I'm at sixty-six percent. Great. Great. Okay. Um. Frankly, I'm not even going to look at the, the, the stuff, because I don't know what to do. Like, like, how can I stop them? Hmm? How, how do I stop that, that thing coming that way? It doesn't seem like there's any doors I can fuck with. No, no, you... What the fuck is that? What does that mean? What the fuck is... No. What does that mean? What the fuck is going on? Guys? <gasps> yo! Yo. 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 Holy shit, I'm fucked. I can't look away from there or else I'm fucked. If I look away, I'm getting my neck snapped like a... I'm still looking. Anyone have any ideas about what to do here? The fuck? What am I supposed to do? Dude, the thing said get fuck you off. Fuck off. Okay. Okay. Um. Is, is there... What do I do? Extras. Apparently this highlight. <gasps> That's so cool! Okay, this is what the game needs. I like this a lot. This is... Cutscenes? I like this a lot. I think this is exactly what the other game should have had, where there's different sections that explain all the different mechanics of these characters, so that even if you die once, guess what? It's a learning experience. You can work back into it. That's, that's what it should do. Um, This is perfect. Oh my god. I love this. This is fucking great. I'm going to read over this right now if you guys don't mind. I mean, I think that I love this. This is fucking cool as hell. Wow, I love that. Okay. Um, Euclid. Special containment procedures. Item SCP-173 is to be kept in a locked container at all times when personnel must enter. SCP-173 container. Um, no fewer than three may enter at any time, and the door is to be relocked behind them at all times. Two persons must uh, maintain eye contact with SCP-173 until all personnel have uh, vacated and relocked their condor, uh, container. Founded in uh, 1993, um, origin is yet unknown. It is constructed from concrete and rebar with traces of Rylon brand spray. SCP-173 is an animate um, hostile object. Uh, the object cannot move while within a direct line of sight. So what do I do then? It sounds like you can. It doesn't explain what. Okay. Object is reported to attack by snapping neck at the base of the skull or by strangulation. The reddish brown substance on the floor is a combination of feces and blood. <laughs> okay. 
Origin of these materials is unknown. The enclosure must be cleaned on a bi-weekly basis. Yes, bi-weekly, baby. Bi-weekly. Twice a week. That doesn't explain how I, um, survive against them, I guess. I mean, I guess it says maintain eye contact with it, but, like, I, I don't get it. Because... How do I stop it then? I guess that's what I'm curious about. Do you guys understand it? Oh god. They aren't mine. No, not that. <laughs> okay, that's pretty that's fucking really good. That's really good. I'm gonna read this out, okay, because that's fucking amazing, Buzz. I think it's funny as shit, and frankly, somebody needs to make some shitty something about that, because that's funny as fuck. I love it. I absolutely adore that. <laughs> that's fucked. Uh. That's awesome. All right. SCP-4267, SCP, uh, a blue digit, SCP-4267-1 appears to be a 20 to 30 year old man with European descent, SCP-4267-1 has the innate ability to cancel people from reality, this is done by disintegrating them down to a molecular level and re can retreat to a pocket dimension with computer bed, an entity here now known as SCP-67-2, SCP-67-2 various it appears to be an innate behavior to provide companionship to SCP-4271. <laughs> SCP-4267-1 deploys a behavior to stream uh, whenever he enter his pocket dimension. But you forgot the tentacle parts? Bruh! <laughs> That's so damn good. That's, that's fucking great. Wait, why, why is there four more different SCPs? Wait, there's four different- wait, there's four more? Oh god, I don't like that. I do not like that. Oh shit, okay. Um, any corrosion? Oh shit, I'm not sure I want to read all this. Prefer prey items in 10 to 25 years age bracket. No tax on non-human objects have been reported of as of yet. SCP-1076 is capable of passing through solid matter, leaving behind a large patch of corrosive mucus. SCP-176 is able to vanish inside solid matter, entering what is assumed to be the form of a pocket dimension. Ooh, okay. Um. <sighs> okay. Euclid, uh, object class safe. Hmm, okay. What is this? Dash what? Dash one, okay. Um. A large feline creature that walks on four legs like with bark like skin and dull gray vegetation covering most of its body it has a long broad tail, pointed ears, and bright yellow symbols on its chest and head. In addition to its eyes are uh, bright enough to be seen in eight six zero one's dense fog. It is predatory in nature and will spread hostility towards anything nearby. Interesting. So it doesn't even does anybody even know what it is? That's weird. Seems to react to a strong to a source of strong light. It also helps to differentiate differentiate between the known constructs from the original. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Um. We'll try it one more time. Okay. We're gonna try it one more time. One more time. Well, that's cool. I didn't know you could do that. Oh 
shit, oh shit. So I wonder if that's what that means. Oh shit. Okay, there's that thing. So when you type in vent, is that what stops? Close the fucking door! That's stupid. That's stupid. You should be able to close the door! Okay. Fine. I'm done. I'm done. I tried. Okay, I tried. But, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is really cool. I think, I think there's a lot behind this game that most um, FNAF games don't really go into. And I really enjoyed um, how it, it feels like there's more levels to this than most FNAF games really get into. Especially, I would say... Um, What's the terminology for it? The depth that uh, it does to immerse you. Um, a lot of games that I enjoy uh, that are SCP tend to be very uh, lax when it comes to um, how detailed it is and how hard it is to get into. But for some reason, this doesn't feel so bad just because um, even if there is a mistake, it feels like there's always more you can learn um, and it isn't hopeless because it always gives you more information to learn. And I find that to be very enjoyable um, compared to, let's say, um, the last game I just said uh, played, which was Obelisk uh, Casa, which um, you don't really get reminded of the tips and you don't really get reminded of a lot of things um, in, in, all, in all the fashions, right? Um, and it feels like there's a little bit too much thrown at you at once. Well, this game, I, I wouldn't say that. I, I think, I mean, Flight Loaded the first night is a, is a tutorial night, which I, I really appreciate. So um, I think it's a really great game i think it's done very well and um it really even surprised me when i was going to literally the pocket dimension i just killed off right away that really was a nice touch because you guys remember uh, you gotta remember this is a unity game um and clearly the developer took full advantage of that um you can even feel the polish in the first cutscene so um oh god what is this what am i reading fuck me before we end this oh god what is this 4267-1, object class, save. 4267-1 entered 682 chamber at 12.08 p.m., which then proceeds to attack SCP-682 with a variety of its tentacles. 682 then develops an outer shell of iron, at which point 4267 tried to escape through to a pocket mention, which was intercepted by 682. SCP-4267-1 then decided to cancel 682, having little to no effect on 682. He then was thrown and known around for 42 seconds before finally escaping to his pocket dimension. <laughs> what is what is this? What's 682? Which one is that? I'm gonna look that up. I'm, I'm it's SCP. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Blue Out. Um, if you guys would like to see more of this, let me down uh, down down in the comments below and um, tell me which SCP is your favorite. <clears throat> me. So um, thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and um, please join the Twitch uh, streams because clearly I try my best to stream uh, whenever possible, and uh, we have fun little moments like this. So uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, smile, keep right up, and uh, as always, let's fight for our future. So bright, let's switch your eyes. My name is Blue Sunny Out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.